Welcome to Jump Inside Unleashed, where we talk about certain games and what we think about them. In this episode, we're going to talk about is Saints Row the Third still good? Before we start, I just want to begin by saying that this was going to be based on comparison, but due to I don't want to spend money and I'm getting bored of Oblivion Dungeons, I'm going to turn this into is it still worth playing time video. So sit back and let's get into this. Oh my god, you're the Saints! You have to sign this for me! Hey, big bro fan. Hey, Josh Burke. Don't be starstruck. Very approachable. Uh, no. Starting off, we get this lovely Star Wars introduction, which gives us a brief catch up of where the games took place. Gears gets beat up, but then has super kick. And it turns out it's an advert. Japanese commercials. Easiest money you'll ever make. So we move into the elevator and begin to rob a, what I like to think is a bank. Then we move to an introduction, live action, fighting, shoot a few bad guys. Then we see this guy called Josh. Are you trying to get us all jail time? What? I don't want to be some dude's bitch. He runs away. After this, jump onto a vault while we go into an epic escaping cinematic. Go, go, go! And then after this point, we see our character creation. Design the body style, and yes, if you really want to, you can play as the Hulk. <laughs> and then when you've done all that, you can move on to the next section. After this, get captured, get free. <laughs> Someone paid more. And then jump out of a plane to save Shondi. Now we're into the actual game. This game is more than just being an RPG shooter. It gives you different and loads of different scenarios on different missions and fighting situations. By that I mean, like, when you jump out of the plane and you shoot people in midair, and during the next mission, you attack an army base by shooting the people with drones. There are so many different ways that this game breaks up just the normal run in and shoot a load of people. It changes the scenario up with missions. It gives you an entertaining gameplay rather than just a shoot loads of bad guys. And also, this game knows how to go from a level zero to a level 10. By that, I mean, it knows how to increase the action to make the tension different. Don't worry, Pierce has that covered. This game is about drama, not just action. So just like that, with $4,000, we are now in free roam. This game, we are set where you can change up your character with clothing and vehicles and property or money and respect, just like GTA. But unlike GTA's very serious vibe where if you want to get someone out of a car or you want to jump over a fence, you can only do what the human is naturally capable. In this game, however, if you want to get someone out of the car, you can just smash through the car window and then you're off. Quite literally. You get a phone with all your upgrades, maps and missions. You know, at this point, I thought the game was going to be not up to date with modern games, but at this point, I don't really care about the game graphics. Gameplay to this point in the video is really enjoyable and much more exciting than dungeons that I've been crawling through on Oblivion. Anyway, it's time to Hulk out and take the penthouse. Due to this being one of my favorite missions, mainly because it has a really cool audio track that really sells the game. Unfortunately, I can't play the audio track because it's from Kanye West. Just give the word, boss. And if I put it in the video, it might get copyrighted. So that's all getting cut out. Anyway, due to landing on top and actually trying to fight people up to the penthouse and flicking them off the side of the building and flying controls are a bit rough compared to other games, but it's easy to get used to after a while. Anyway, so overall, is this game still playable, enjoyable, and does this fit in with modern games today? Well, yes, I believe this game is aged well. I don't think you need an updated version of the game, but if you want to go for it, then do so. But the original works for me. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if it's still worth playing, the answer is yes. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, and now back to those dungeons on Oblivion. I can go no further. You alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal servants. 
He must not have the amulet of kings. Yeah, we don't want to be here any longer. Yeah, let's let's, let's just leave. You leave. Yeah, I'm leaving. Bye.